terrible Terry Norris. Aquí está el referee Richard Steele. Okay, I gave both fighters the instructions in the dressing room. I'm cautious again. Obey my commands at all times. I don't want no rough pushing. No, I just want clean boxing, okay? Is there any question? Shake hands, good luck. Hundred thirty thousand strong. Azteca Stadium, Mexico City. Terry Norris, who told us the other day, I'm in the best shape of my life. In fact, I feel better than I did when I fought Sugar Ray Leonard. That does not bode well for this man, the challenger, Maurice, the thin man blocker. And he's well named, the thin man. He looks like a spear. Boy, is that guy tall and thin. And what, bear in mind, he is a wonderful boxer. If he uses motion, if he uses his jab, if he doesn't let Terry Norris walk right through him like Simon Brown did. Now, Terry Norris is one of these guys that likes to get out of here early. He doesn't stick stick around for uh, uh, the results later on. He wants to get out now. He's heading up for one of the biggest fights in his career if they can make him and Chavez. But first, he's got to get past Blocker. Blocker told us Norris is a young fighter with lots of publicity who is headstrong. And he said, I will tame him and put him in his place. It's the first few rounds, he'll use his strength. That's the key to take his strength away. This is Blocker telling us this. How do you do that, I asked him. He said, by moving around, by trying to keep Norris honest. Well, he's not moving around, and... Uh, no, he's not. Terry is honest. He's coming right straight forward and battering him. There's another good shot as, uh, as uh, Norris came over. Blocker is trying to hold on as best he can, but gets hit. I mean, no, uh, see, Norris is truly a great fighter. He, he is like Chavez. He takes advantage of every little corner, every little opening he hits you with. If you leave a window open a shade, you get hit. Norris, a well-disciplined fighter who combines power and speed, told us that since Blocker doesn't move a lot, I'll hit him with a lot of body shots and wear him down. I should be able to walk through it. But I'm prepared, he said, to go 12 hard physical rounds. Norris said to us, Blocker was able to catch Simon Brown with a lot of punches. I don't plan on getting hit often. Blocker lost his WBC weatherweight crown to Brown via a 10th round knockout. Incidentally, Blocker's IBF weatherweight crown not at stake. He is getting hammered right now. Blocker is getting hammered. The uh, building blocks for a knockout are being built right now. Norris is wasting no time. They're short. They're businesslike. They're right on the money. And right now, there's a, a very apprehensive look on the face of Blocker, who's tasted that real power. Of, look at that. Whoa. Whoa, what a thump as Blocker hits the canvas. Four. That's what he was five, doing. And that's the six, look he had. Uh-oh, uh I'm going to get hit. Eight. Give me a glove. Give me a glove. Richard Steele going to have a job on his hands because Norris is a finisher. Norris trying to polish Blocker off for the final 40 seconds of the first round. Good left hand by Norris above us. Blocker doesn't even know where he's at. Blocker just standing erect by a miracle of uh, boxing because he, does, he can't even focus his eyes right. And now Norris unleashing a barrage. A big right by Terry Norris. Can Blocker survive? 15 seconds to go. He's in all kinds of trouble. He's just trying to stay up. Oh, down he goes again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You okay? Come on. And he's up before the bell. And that's the worst piece of news he ever had. Look come at him on, stumbling around. Steele has got to have a little business meeting in the corner. Steele's got to think about this because they, they just folded him into that chair. Look at the complete exhaustion and knocked out of it. Look, look at Blocker. He's knocked out. Richard Steele trying to do his job to the best of his ability, but we all know the history of Richard Steele. Let's take a look at that perfect punch. We saw it coming there. Look, look at that. That's the first knockdown. That's where you call you disconnect all systems and you go down. And the second is now coming up. The second was a right hand, but you see, Blocker is just about out. He, he looks to see where the ropes are, but he knows that he's going to get terrible punishment. 
You know, he could have stopped it right along about here, really. And I, mean, I don't think anybody would question the judgment of Richard Steele in this case if see, he did stop it. He not only fell, but his head bounced off there. I mean, you know, you really got to think, do, do you really need this? And, of course, it's boxing. It is a championship. The bell did save him, so now he comes out for more. And just as we said at the top of the show, Terry Norris walked right through him. And this looks like it's just a matter of time. Another thundering left hand by Norris. Low blow by Blocker, who Locker. is desperate. Blocker has nothing on his punches. Terry Norris right now could say hit me with everything. Oh, what a thumping left and a right by Norris, Norris Ferdy. Norris is a wonderful puncher. This, this guy has really got aim. He's like Chavez. Look out, no fouling, says Richard Steele. He was holding on to Blocker. He doesn't need to do that. No. You know, his blood is up. He wants to knock out. He wants to get out of here. He wants to impress the Mexican crowd. He wants to tell the world, I'm here. And he wants to tell Mexico he's ready for Chavez. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Boom! A little bit more. Chavez is right there. A few good shots. Chavez right there. Oh, brother! Stop him right there. That's right, Richard Steele. That's right. Good decision by Richard Steele. It was the only decision to make. No contest. It was the decision to make. There wasn't a judgment call. And the only judgment call was should they have let him come back out to get a little bit of that shot. It's a title fight, and he, he's entitled to get knocked out if, if that's what you consider an entitlement. Riveting, monstrous, wicked shots from the opening bell by Terry Norris. And now a fight breaking out in the ring. Well, and it's a woman involved, Ferdy. There's a woman in the center of it. And that is... It's from the Maurice Blocker camp. Yeah, they, they got some, some strange people in that camp. And of all people, there's Panama Lewis trying to create a peaceful situation. What's he doing in there? Panama Lewis, who doesn't even belong in there in the first place, but that's another story. Yeah, but right now, it is, they're trying to calm things down. It, it has no place in this ring. That has no place. It's been a clean, honorable fight. That has no place. How could they even question it? I mean, yeah, the only thing to question is why let him come out. Terry Norris, a second round TKO, unofficial time 49 seconds. And I know so many people would salivate at the prospect of someday soon seeing this man, Terry Norris, do battle with Julio Cesar Chavez. Well, it will never happen in Mexico, but if they had it in Mexico, they would have to add seats to this 130,000 uh, seat arena. They would be hanging from ropes to see that fight. I may be one of them because that is going to be the fight of the year when it happens. He defends his title. Let's take a look at the accurate and pinpoint punching power of Terry Norris. Here is a man who has ended the career. That right there gets your attention. And the idea that he knows exactly where to land the punches and how much strength. Here is the end of the fight where it was really not a hard decision. This is not uh, brain surgery or rocket scientry. Here a guy is getting hammered. His life is in danger. And Richard Steele wisely comes in and puts a quietus to this mess. And there it is. In two seconds, look, look at the way he's caved in. That punch right there could have really hurt him. The one that followed would have been worse. So he did an, an extremely good thing. I commend Richard Steele. He's had his rocky nights in this ring before you and I, but he had a good night tonight. He did the right thing. Terry Norris told us he feels most comfortable at 154. No problem, though, getting to 147 if he had to fight Chavez. Let's get the official word from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Damas y caballeros, tenemos el tiempo. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. 49 segundos in round number two, 49 seconds. In round number two, the winner by way of knockout, technical knockout, el ganador por knockout técnico, el campeón terrible, Terry Norris. There you have it, Terry Norris, now 34 and 3 with 20 knockouts, stopping Maurice the thin man blocker here in round number two, a convincing no nonsense dispatching of the thin man and hugs all around for the WBC super welterweight champion Terry Norris now has won 13 in a row and the crowd is chatting Chavez getting ready for the big one 
the main event.